All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the Dubai After Dark podcast with Graham and your host, Ty. How's it going? Today, we're going to get into it right away with a draft, top four each, and we're going to do average Joe jobs. All right, let's do it. You're first. I'm going teacher. Teacher? Yeah. Summer's off, man. Yep. I figured that was the reason. Depending on the country, they're paid pretty well, too. Yeah. Not in America, though. Okay, I think this is a pretty sick job is pilot. Yeah, that was on my list, definitely. You get a lot of perks, and you're just always flying around. Yeah. Cheap flights. Get to travel around. Exactly. Definitely. definitely. I'm going personal trainer. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. No, I totally agree. Yeah. Flexible hours, and usually get paid pretty well. And get to work with some hot moms. True. <laughs> I'm going to go with a bartender. Yeah. I feel like you get paid to be social, mm-hmm. and it would be pretty relaxing, pretty fun. Yep. Decent yeah. tips. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I'm going uh, real estate agent. Damn, that was on my list yeah. too. That was probably my next one. Sa- right. Same deal. Get to socialize. I mean, you can even do business on like the golf course or something if you wanted. Yeah, I mean, but- I think I think realtors make way more money than they deserve. Definitely. Why do they deserve a percentage of the cost of your house? Especially if houses have risen in price and the percentages have stayed the same, they just make more and more money. I don't. I think soon you're gonna see that that whole career get wiped out. I don't think there's going to be a point for realtors in the next few years. It's possible, but they'll try to keep it around. For sure. But All right, I'm going to go with a sports coach, like a basketball or a football high school coach. Yep. I think those are pretty sweet jobs. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to finish it off with a long-haul truck driver. Wow. Yep. You're going to have to explain that one. Well, same deal as a pilot. You get to just road trip, just with a lot more stress. But you get like... Yeah. You get to travel, like if you were a long haul truck driver in the States, you get to see some pretty cool things. I guess so. And I you, just feel like. And he, they make big money, actually. Yeah. I mean, my grandpa was one and he definitely didn't like the lifestyle because yeah. you're always gone. You're sleeping in your truck. Your back hurts. Mm-hmm. But yeah, fair enough. The last one for me is between a waiter and a car salesman. Okay. I think I'm going to go car salesman because you can make big commissions yep. if you're good at your job. Obviously, it's kind of like dependent on the economy and stuff like that but no i i think be pretty good because you're in control of how much you make based on how good of a salesman you are yeah and how hard you work too i mean you can sit there and not do a damn thing and you won't get paid anything that is true so all right marry one kill one sleep with one go i have to word it differently (laughs) for the pod (laughs) yeah no i get you um mila kunas miley cyrus and kim kardashian you got to marry one, kill one, and sleep with one. Who is the second one? Miley Cyrus. Ooh. Marry Mila Kunis. Okay. Sleep with Kim Kardashian. Okay. And the other option was kill, right? Yeah. Yeah. See you, Miley. <laughs> <laughs> See you. All right. I got another one for you. Marry one, kill one, sleep with one. Margot Robbie, Jessica Alba, and Selena Gomez. Damn, that's tough. Hmm. Those are better personalities than the last one. Yeah. But I'm going to say marry Margot Robbie. Easy. Kill Selena Gomez. Sleep with... It was Jessica Alba, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's what I'd do. That's gutless, man. I thought you'd take the Selena Gomez for sure. As a marry? To sleep with. No. Alba's hotter. I think Jessica Alba's hotter than Selena. I do too, but for me, it's like a childhood thing. It's like I yeah. used to fantasize over Selena Gomez as a kid. That's changed for me, though. Over the last few years, like, I feel like Selena's a bit out of shape, maybe. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Her appeal to me has kind of gone down. Faded. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. I got some trivia for you. All right. So you know the saying, it's provocative. It gets the people going. Y- no. <laughs> you don't? No. Have you not seen Blades of Glory? Yeah. It's provocative. Gets the people going. (laughs) I don't remember that exact quote, but... Oh, then that completely ruins my question. How do you... For a movie guy, I should know this probably. And they say it in the song, N-Word in Paris. Okay, well, I can't ask that question then. Okay, what are some nostalgic things for you? Music is the first thing that springs to mind. Yeah. Just some old... Katy Perry and a couple other girly songs that makes me think of the 
old hockey days like on a scale from one to ten rank how nostalgic these things are for you okay so just like riding your bike around town with your friends that hits heavy like that's high yeah yeah definitely give it a scale one to ten eight okay yeah that feeling when you leave your last class before summer break oh i'm going six really yeah oh for me that was like peak peak life 10 out of 10 Mm -hmm. just walking home from school on that last day and you know you got three months off it was amazing yeah fair enough um next thing was just like when you're five maybe 10 years old getting some money and going to the like corner store and getting some candy yes that's high that's like nine yeah because i just remember my sister and i as kids when we'd steal my mom's debit card and head down there and like do you remember how cheap vending machines were oh like the gumball machines yeah i miss those days man you used to get like the big bags of candy for like a dollar yeah now you're probably paying three dollars yeah speaking of uh getting some money from our parents and going and getting something when uh i was probably 12 or 13 me and my buddy we were really into fishing and my mom said we could take her debit card to walmart and get a fishing lure each so she's thinking you know might cost her five ten bucks yeah right yeah and uh (laughs) we didn't have a boat or anything like i think we had one fishing rod between the two of us okay and we went and spent like two hundred dollars on ocean fishing gear oh man like down rigging line flashers like the whole nine yards and yeah she we get back and my mom has a charge on her debit card for like a couple hundred bucks. She was not happy. I thought you're more responsible with your parents' money than that. No, not at that point in my life. Really? Yeah. Damn. That's ruthless. Yeah. Guess this NFL team by its record last year. 12 wins, 5 losses, and no ties. Maybe the Dolphins? Nope. Their owner is very old and very rich, and you're not a fan of him. Is it the Cowboys? Yeah. Really? I didn't think they had that good of a season. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good to know. Next one. Nine wins, seven losses, and one tie. Hmm. Oakland Raiders. Negative. Baltimore. Nope. One last guess. I like them. Seahawks? Nope, my other team. Oh, I don't know who your other team is. Um, let me get one more guess. Who tied last year? Man, that seems like so long ago. Damn, I can't remember. I'm just going to go Green Bay, but I don't think that's right. New York Giants. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That a bit of a better year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got one more for you, and I think this one will be the easiest one. Okay. Guess this NFL team by its record last year. Three wins and 14 losses and zero ties. So they're horrible. Yeah. Still, though, I I don't know teams that well by their wins and losses, but let's go. Were they the worst in the league? I believe so. Like bottom two, I think. Yeah. Newer QB. It wasn't the Cardinals, was it? Nope. Their QB has been in the league for only one or two years now. Okay. Was it the Falcons? Nope. Wasn't the Saints, was it? Nope. Houston Texans. Nope. What? Oh, I thought I had that. Um I'm just going through the teams here. Yeah. Bears? It was the Bears. Okay. Yeah. 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 Three wins, eh? Yeah. Tough. <laughs> Fields kinda balled out though, at least with his legs. Yeah. Like he had a better year. I, I think he's gonna be a really good QB. Me too. Yeah. I think he's gonna be good this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's yeah, such an athlete. Definitely. And they finally got him some guys. Did you ever watch that show, uh, QB Underneath the Lights, or that TV show? He, and he was in it, so it was, it's high school football. Oh, no. I, I think I know the show you're talking QB about. QB One or something like that. Yeah, I've heard of it, but I've yeah. not watched it. it. It's a good show, actually. It? Really good. They make a lot of good football documentaries and stuff yeah. like that. Behind the scenes type shows. Friday Night Tykes. Have you seen that one with the little kids? I've seen it, but I've never watched it. Oh, it's it. so good. Is it? <laughs> okay, so this was quite common for people growing up. What are your thoughts on people that would go to the hospital or music festivals, get the bracelet, and then wear that bracelet for like the next week? 
Oh, just as like a look at me. Yeah, like yeah. Pe- people would always go to the hospital and keep the bracelet on for like a week to try to get attention. Or that kid that would like go to the hospital and like take a photo of their hospital band but give no other context. Oh my god, that's the worst, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Or like music festivals, mm-hmm. like we have that one locally, Sunfest, and people yeah. would just wear that thing for it's like a status symbol. It's yeah, like, dude, nobody cares. Like th- I find that so cringy. Yeah, I. Uh, I never did the bracelet, but the one thing, and this was honestly just because I was lazy. I had the Sunfest parking pass on my car window. Okay. And that stayed on my windshield for like two years. <laughs> <laughs> so you were one of those people. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. We're doing a draft NFL quarterbacks. Okay. Me first. Go for it. Easy number one, Patrick Mahomes. Ah, yeah. I'm going Josh Allen. He would not be in my top four. He's a big... I think he's very overrated. Nah, I don't think so. He... In my opinion, he plays as hard during the regular season as he does in the playoffs, and so he'll never be able to elevate. Because you think he's like going to be burnt out by playoffs, kind of. Yeah, thing? Mm-hmm. and he lays his body out on the line, and like he's going to have injuries. I get it; he's big, mm-hmm. but I just don't think he plays smart. And you got to save yourself for playoffs, especially when you're already thirteen and three going into the last week or whatever. <laughs> Fair enough. And he's got his head down, getting pummeled <laughs> on meaningless games. But uh, Joe Burrow. Yep, that was next on my list. I'm going Jalen Hurts. Yeah, he was my third pick. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hurts is great. Yeah. Yeah, and he proved it last year. Definitely. Uh, I'm going to go with Herbert. Yes, I love Justin Herbert, man. He had a down year, Mm -hmm. but I think he's a great quarterback. He he still showed a ton of great looks. Yeah. I mean, his rookie year was especially eye-opening. Yeah. No, he's, he's great. Yeah. I am going Justin Fields. Oh, wow, that high. Hey. Yeah. He snuck on my list, but he's down at like 10, 11. Yeah. 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 Now, is this a draft for like just this year or would this be for like the future of the quarterback? Just this year. Okay. Well, with that being said, I still think Aaron Rodgers is quite elite. Yeah. I, it was a toss up between him and Fields for that. Yeah. He that probably only has one or two more good years. Mm-hmm. And last year, he was like underrated once again. He, yeah. Threw a lot of touchdowns. Yeah. It just depends if he's doing the whole man bun thing again. <laughs> See, that didn't play into my <laughs> ranking. For my last pick, you're probably going to think I'm an idiot, but I'm going Jared Goff. Okay. I mean, I do think you're an idiot, but not because of that pick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For my last pick, this is a real tough one, but I'm going to go with Lamar Jackson. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He's got elite speed. Um, I don't Not know, bad for a running back. <laughs> yeah, he's he's hilarious, isn't he? He's got to make it on here. Tom Brady, man. He's not active. Well, he was last year. <laughs> he's retired. <laughs> what do you think the most an actor has ever got paid for a single movie? Oh, man. And can you guess the actor? No, and I have no idea how much actors get paid, so like... 30 million it was 30 million oh really yeah let's go yeah. uh action movie and it was a man damn uh chris hemsworth nope the rock nope the rock does a lot of low paid movies oh does he yeah okay um well not low paid but he doesn't get paid as much he just does a lot of them is it robert downey jr nope leo nope action action I don't even know actors very well. Is it like Liam Neeson or something? No. Uh, The title of his movie. Is he black? No, he's white. But the title of the movie he's most known for is A Man's Name. I don't think that helps me. I'm so bad with movies. Well, it's Keanu Reeves, and it was the movie The Matrix. Oh, okay. My hint was uh, John Wick, the John Wick series. I see. Yeah. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have got that. I'm not good with movies. I mean, I recognize it, but I would have never got it. Choose your top five artificial fruit flavors. You're first. Cherry. That's my number one as well. Yep. I'm going blue raspberry. Yeah. Good call. I'm going orange. Orange. Yeah. That high. Yeah. Okay. I like it. For me, personally, it's mango. Yeah. That was next on my list. Okay. That's good. Yeah. I'm going raspberry. I'm pretty much just going to be naming my favorite white claw flavors. (laughs) Okay. I'm thinking candy here. I think peach is underrated. Yes. Yeah. Fuzzy Fuzzy peaches. peaches? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. I'm going watermelon. 
Yeah. A lot of mixed opinions on that, though. Yeah. If it's not sweet enough, then it sucks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next up, I'll go lime. Okay. I think lime's underrated. Yeah. I think it deserves a little bit more credit than it gets. So. Yeah. I'm going grape. Grape. Yeah. That's a hot take. Yeah. Is that like based on Kool-Aid or what? No, just it, just grape. Just grape. Okay. You can't think of any examples. <laughs> nope. Has strawberry been said yet? Strawberry has not been said. I feel like that's a must take. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Staple food. <laughs> yes. Another movie question for you, because I know you're so into movies. Who has been in more movies, Brad Pitt or Tom Cruise? Damn, that's tough. I'll go Tom Cruise. It's not. Isn't it? It's not. Do you know how many they've played in? Yep. So Tom has made an appearance in 53 movies. Okay. And Brad Pitt has made 64 movie appearances. I feel like I've seen Tom Cruise more. I I thought it was going to be Tom Cruise, hands is down. Is it maybe because he's done more recent films or something? This is throughout their career. No, I know, but oh. I'm thinking... Oh, not- I, yeah. I'm, I'm not too sure. Hmm. I yeah. can't even think of too many Brad Pitt movies, to be mm-hmm. honest. Yeah. Except that one with his wife. Oh, the Smiths? Yeah, I swear that's on every plane that I yep. travel on. Absolutely it is. Rank these pop flavors without knowing what comes next. Okay. First up, we have Fanta Orange. Three. Next, we have Coca-Cola. Two. Next, we have Dr. Pepper. One. Okay. <laughs> next, we have Root Beer. Oh, no. Four. Okay. And Cream Soda is your last one. I'm happy putting that five. Yeah, that's easily fifth yeah. for me. I, I'd honestly only switch root beer and Dr. Pepper. Okay. Well, just a side note. I threw up as a kid after drinking a... Uh, what's the last one? I, oh, a cream soda? Yeah. I threw up as a kid after drinking a cream soda, and I don't think I've drank it since. Yeah. It's just one of those things that you think about, and you feel like you could get sick again. Yeah. Hey, I yeah. just can't associate that with tasting good. Yeah. No. Fair enough. Who is the hotter Hollywood couple? Jessica Biel and Justin Timberlake or Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds? Who do you think is hotter? That's really tough. As a couple, I would say Jessica Biel. Jessica Biel and Justin Timberlake? Yeah. <laughs> I was more mas- basing it on <laughs> yeah, the girl. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, she's she puts it over the top. For yeah, me. fair enough. And who... Who who is the hotter Hollywood couple? Ryan Gosling and Eva Mendes or Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez? Yeah, Affleck and Lopez for me. I yeah. think both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're both sure. studs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, we're playing King of the Hill, rappers fighting each other. First we have Drake against Post Malone. Drake. All right. Post Malone would get wiped by anyone. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just melted ice cream, man. Drake versus Travis Scott. Drake. Wow. Travis Scott's a toothpick. Yeah, I guess so. Like an absolute toothpick. He's yeah, a twig. Yeah, maybe you're right. Drake against 50 Cent. Ooh, I'm going 50 Cent. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. 50 Cent's hood, man. Drake Drake just seems like a city boy to me. Yeah. All right, two left. Yeah. So now you got 50 Cent against Rick Ross. I'm still going 50 Cent. Yeah. That was probably too easy. Yeah. All right. And last round, 50 against the game. Ooh. The game looks like a boss, man. I think I'm going the game. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's your winner. Yeah. He looks like a baller. So, <laughs> foods that start with a B draft. Okay. Me first. Go for it. Okay. Number one, I'll go bacon. Ah, uh, yeah. That was number one on my list. Okay. I'm going a burrito. Damn. Yeah. That's actually good. Yeah. That's good. I'll go brownies. Damn it. <laughs> I wanted that so bad. <laughs> I'm going beef. Okay. That's a good one. Now, I assume I can't choose bacon cheeseburger, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. How about a Boston cream donut? <laughs> I was going to say that. I don't think it should count. Okay. It can't be the name or something. So, for real here, I'll go... All right, I know you don't like these that much, but I think bagels are underrated. That, that was on the bottom of my, of my list. Okay. Yep. <laughs> well, and I'm going bread, so. Ah, I didn't even have that on my list. 
Okay, does this one count? Big Max. I'm going to allow it. Okay. I'll allow Cause it. Because it's the actual name of it. Yeah. I'll allow it. I'm going Biscuits. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. I think this is an underrated pick. A banh mi. A pardon? <laughs> it's Vietnamese. It's a okay. Vietnamese sub. Interesting. I'm going blackberries to finish it off. Weak. How? Delicious. Seeds. A very annoying. Oh, very my. annoying food to eat. Would you rather only eat McDonald's breakfast or McDonald's dinner for the rest of your life? You can only choose one or the other. Well, you got to prioritize for health so you don't die. And I feel like breakfast might be healthier than their dinner options. Mm-hmm. But then again, there's more options for dinner. Yeah. So I'm going to say dinner because okay. I feel like you get more variety. Definitely. Definitely. And what's your breakfast order at McDonald's? Depends if I'm being cheap or going all out. So if go, I'm being Go with che- your all out. All out? Yeah. Okay. You got to get some McGriddles in there. Yes. Those are amazing. Yes. You got to go with, I don't know what it's called, but like egg and hash brown type wraps. Okay. I don't know if they're just called a breakfast wrap or especially with sausage. Yeah. I prefer sausage to bacon. Interesting. Yeah. Got to get a hash brown in there. Yep. A coffee, of course. Yep. And if I'm feeling extra fat, I'll get a donut in there too. Well, any OJ or apple juice? Nah. No? no just the coffee? I'm getting enough calories for my food. I don't <laughs> need to drink any too. Fair enough. And what's your uh, dinner order from McDonald's? Now, once again, I'm thrifty, so I look at the coupons, see what's available first. But no, I just favorite dinner order would probably be probably a double Big Mac okay. meal with fries and a Diet Coke, mm-hmm. and then throw in a chicken wrap on the side. Okay. Uh, maybe the Mick wrap with the bacon, maybe just a snack wrap, depending on how hungry I am. Yep, fair enough. What's your all-time favorite McDonald's menu item? Single item. Damn, that's tough. And it can even be something that's not on the menu anymore. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, the s'mores pie is up there, but it's not number one. They just have to give that a shout out. But yeah. honestly, they don't no longer make them like this in Canada. They use a whole wheat wrap. But my favorite is just the chicken snack wraps with bacon. Interesting. They're so good, or they used to be so good until McDonald's ru- ruined them. <laughs> Do you remember Cinnamilts? No. That was my. It was like favorite. a cinnamon bun, right? It was just a cinnamon bun, but they were like kind of like cut up into cubes almost, and you could like pick them out with like a fork. Uh, okay, maybe I remember that. And they'd heat it up. It was the best thing ever. McDonald's a long time ago would sell the like for the kids menus. You used to get these when we were kids. They would sell these like little bags of cookies with like small cookies inside of them. Mm-hmm. They they were really good. They were kind of like, you know, those cookies that are quite dry. Yeah, but they're really good. Yeah, yeah, it was those. I mean, I'll never forget though. One time my dad went through the drive through, and he he's so bad at ordering at drive throughs. So he goes, "I'll have a." cookie and, <laughs> and i was like no dad get the like the bag of cookies he's like no it's the same thing yeah of course mcdonald's also had cookies so they gave us one big cookie and it was supposed to be like i wanted these little cookies i was so pissed off that's funny yet yeah, parents in a drive through is just something else man why it's, are they so bad at it it's like you're acting like you've never done this before it's like okay <laughs> dad i know you're here like four times a week like why are you it, are you just trying to play it off like you don't come here or something? And it's all on the board. Yeah, you just yeah. got to read it. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get like a, what's it, like a Big Mac or something? It's like, everyone knows what it is. <laughs> just say it. Oh, man. My parents' favorite move is to get the Mick chicken instead of a junior chicken, even though it's four times the price oh. and like 20% bigger. Yeah. That's in Canada. I know it's different in the States. Mm-hmm. Rank these airlines. Okay. WestJet. Four. United Airlines. I don't have any experience with them, but I'll say three. Okay. Air Canada. Oh, man. (laughs) I guess I'll go two because you're probably going to give me something terrible. (laughs) Spirit Airlines. (laughs) Okay, five. (laughs) Last one, Thai Airways. You picked that because your own name, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, number one. <laughs> Not happy with them there. <laughs> I thought you were going to give me some good airlines. Those nope. were all trash. Yep. Well, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, comment below if, what you want to see next. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>